Came down to the bitter end there for the first map on DE Cash, but Titan comes out on top in overtime. Uh, so now they lead this series 1-0, to zero, so they're one map away from being crowned the champion here right in Dallas, Texas. And uh, Alex Van Sidley win. He had to step out. He, of course, he mentioned over and over again that he had a flight that he needed to make it uh, to catch. And uh, so now he's going to have to step away. But we brought in our co-caster, co-host here. This is going to be Dustin Dust Moret. Done a great job on the analyst side uh, throughout so far. I, my power, going to kick things off there. Uh, Dren able to pick up one. Skadoodle follows. Skadoodle actually... Had a nade there to pick up one more, and now it's going to be Existence making his way down towards the lower bomb site to get this bomb planted. So at least they made a bad situation at least decent uh, here for Titan to get that bomb planted down and lower. And they still, the round, this round's not over yet, uh, but it is going to be down to this 1v4. They've got uh, AZK over the top. He's going to be kind of working back and forth here. He spots one. Headshots there. They're still going to be... It uh, looks like he will not stick to the fuse. And Skadoodle will pick up his fourth kill in the round. And so now they're going to start things off. i by power has been doing so well with the pistols. And they pick up their first one here. And then that pistol's so huge for what happened last map, right? I mean, they had Titan up against the ropes and then let it slip into overtime where they lost. That was a huge decrease in morale, I'm sure. So being able to open up here on CT side with a pistol round win definitely has to help out by Power's momentum and thought process. Uh, they need every bit of what they can. Of course, they're starting off out here on the CT side of Nuke. They want to try to get as many rounds as possible. And, of course, that goes without saying. Typically a very John Madden quote, but for the most part, you want to get as much as you can here on the CT side because the T side is so difficult. As uh, right now, you can see that uh, you got a P250 and uh, one flash that's in the hands of Existence, and they're going to execute uh, here towards the inside. Let's go and hop on board here with AZK. Smoking up over here towards the ramp room. And that's going to slow him down for a little bit longer. See if there's anybody on the quick rotate that can help out AZK if needed. Flash bang. That's going to be the one flash, and it's the one flash that's needed. He's able to take down one. And chasing his scream, he's like, I ran out of ammo, might as well use the blade in my hand. And now it's going to be left up to Shoxy. He's going to get taken down as well. So all five members there from Titan get taken out. And so now, uh, as we have it, 2-0 to zero now in favor of I by Power. Only two players had that have been taken out so far here in this game. Yeah, of course, uh, you saw Titan actually full save. They only had one 250. They got that first round bomb plant, so of course now they're going to buy AKs here. So this is a really crucial round for iBuy Power to try to keep that momentum rolling to try to put a stop to Titan. They do have four from Asses uh, to the AKs of Titan, so a slight disadvantage there, but it uh, shouldn't be too big of one. Yeah, so we'll see what they decide to do here. Take a look at the setup right now. You've got Anger that's over here uh, in the in the mini area, the mini garage, and they're set up across there. It looks like they're going to be working here towards the outside. Existence starting things off. He's able to pick up one. I'm trying to find exactly where this is happening. It looks like it may be happening on the outside. They're getting dropped one by one. And uh, so Titan, you know, they just sit there. They decided, you know what? It's time to finish this one. This is what we were supposed to do in the first place. Let's go ahead and finish this game off as uh, AZK gets taken down. So that right there as AK, AZK follows and see how that made an impact on their comms going into this next I mean, that was too... It's the same exact thing. Like, we should have won that round. Yeah? Do the same fucking thing, yeah. For sure. Do the same thing. Shut, shut down their outside right now. So shut down the outside. Yeah, definitely. That round, there was just so many smokes up from Titan. They're really good about those set smokes that get them into that secret area. And that time, they actually were able to hit picks on Mini Garage and Big Garage at the same time. They just caught I buy power completely off guard. Setting up here, just give you a quick little angle. You can see that Skadoodle is going to be watching uh, that cross there. And that's where we have it. So let's go ahead and hop back in here. Shoxy missing his jump for the first time. He's going to try again. And he missed it again. We'll stay here with him for a little while. See how long it takes him to make this jump. And that's his third one. Let's get that counter rolling out there at home. Hey, and he makes it on his fourth drive. Uh, his, the fourth drive's a turn. And so now we can see, uh, as they're going to work here, still going to now take the outside. That allowed uh, Days to get ready to come through their through secret area. Anger right here, but really the pressure is going to be on to Skadoodle. As now he's going to make a call out saying, hey, I need some help there. You got Anger that's going to try to be able to help out. Days is already down here. They're going to go ahead and push up there. They know where they're at. Going to start to backpedal. And right now Days is actually going to be chasing. Going to start to make the call out there. 
Just on the other side, Anger's actually going to be trailing him. And Shoxy going to be up on top of the roof. So maybe that fourth jump actually panned out for them, put him into a right position. And so now he's going to be down here on the lower side. He's with AZK. And they're going to go chasing right into the hands of AZK. They were chasing after Anger. And AZK drops two of them. Ten seconds left here in the round. They need to spread out now as the bomb is right there. He's going to be chasing after him. AZK, there's Anger challenging. Five seconds left here in the round. MBK over the top, and AZK picks him off. Again, Anger there at the end. As it comes down to it, we had I by Power coming back around. It. You heard it right there at the very end where it said that uh, Dazed needs to just go ahead. Hey, we can do this. We're fine. Let's just go ahead and do the same thing as we did before. But really, it comes back that they were chasing after Anger. They knew how much damage they did to him, and they pick up the round. Yeah, that was huge there. I mean, both the teams kind of fumbled the ball a little bit, so to speak, uh, in the, at certain points in that round. But in the end, uh, I by Power was able to collect themselves there on the two versus two. Everybody had low HP, but it was I by Power who came up with it. A huge win there uh, to try to put an end to Titan's momentum. Of course, uh, we actually had two players not even bought on Titan right now because of that. So that's kind of a huge advantage uh, for the CT side going into this round after picking up two AKs. Right, taking a look here over on the other side. You got Daisy that's going to be down there on the lower side. He's going to be pushing through. Adren able to take down one. Over on the top, that's going to be Adren. He's able to drop two during this round so far. Now it's going to be left up to AZK. AZK, the LMS, down to this one on three. Nades coming over the top, 23 HP. Staying alive here just a little bit longer. That time, the second nade from Shoxi will finish things off. These rounds are going to fly by. As that's, the, that's the approach right here from Titan. They're just trying to boom, 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 boom. We're just going to hit them as hard as we can. We're going to hit them as fast as we can. This is what we've seen for them in previous matches this tournament. Uh, they have a really strong new T side. Uh, and, and I by Power struggled yesterday on it. Earlier today they did pretty well against Complexity on it. Um, but, but they need to definitely uh, be careful here. They're going to have to eco this round, even though they had a partial investment with some 250s and a 5.7. Uh, so Titan looking to tie us up at 3-all, but I by Power is going to have to dig deep for something in the next round. All right, so AZK right there watching close quarters here around inside of the ramp room. As they're kind of spreading around, let's go ahead and hop over here from Smith's side. Smith's point of view as he's trying to get this, the aggressive attack. Spraying away, and AZK answers back, but he does take a lot of damage. Now you're going to see them start to rotate back around. Going to be pushing through. Scream. He's going to be right there. He's going to get taken down. Now it's going to be left up to Skadoodle and Adren. Down to this two on three. Uh-oh, they're going to be right there, right around on the other side. And uh, both of them go down as the camera is just, just wigging out on me here. Yeah, Shoxy was just catching the flank there. He was hiding up against the corner of uh, that squeaky vent, and they knew that uh, Titan had gotten ramp control, but we're going to listen in right now. I thought about it. I'm on a ladder and couldn't fucking shoot the guy that was lying. I'm all having upper. Right, let's go. We got to hold his shit, man. Let's go. Okay. Come on. 12 3, 12 3. Give him another side. Let's double drop this round. All right. Let's double drop. Yeah. But play silent for a but yeah, you just heard from him there. Um, you know, Titan was able to get control of ramp, and uh, so that means that the CTs wanted to drop and get on it before the bomb could be planted, but Shoxy was just waiting there for him. All right, looks like they're going to start to um, push over there. They've still just kind of they got their spread throughout the map here. Shoxy working on the outside. You've got one player. That's going to be Smith. He's trying to get that entry again here. Smoking up there across that area. AZK says, thanks. I appreciate it. I'll just go ahead and push through as AZK is going to fall back. They are chasing after him. Smith's right there. AZK trying to pick up with the kill. He's going to get dropped there by uh, that was going to be Scream. And now the bomb is going to get planted down here. And Lower Scream says, I'll continue with my uh, that tear that I'm on. And he finally gets stopped there by Dazed. And right there, just inside the vent, as uh, Skadoodle is going to set up. Here comes a Molly down below, and that's going to force him out of his position. And Adrin says, I uh, was like wondering where he could be, where he could go. And Shoxy just set the trap and pulled Adrin, as now it's going to be left up today's down to a one on four. Just great play by the Titan, and just it's just happening so fast. And forcing I buy power to have to react quickly and make some great calls and communicate properly. And right now, they are just getting uh, outstratted really quickly. Yeah, I mean, I buy power's tendency on CT side nuke is to not put as much emphasis on ramp and put more emphasis on getting outside picks. Or, or at least they usually have two outside, two upper, one ramp, and just kind of a floater. One of the outside players kind of floats. AZK forced to drop down, but unfortunately wasn't able to get to safety. He got caught. And then Titan just able to overload the lower bomb site there and uh, get another victory on the board. Just same thing set up here, exact same setup as we've seen before. 
Smith's going to lead the charge here. They've got three players that are there towards the ramp room. They're in shoulder peak. They now know that uh, that's where Adren is at. He's going to smoke off. That's a smart move. <clears throat> now he just kind of eliminated that those positions there. Skadoodle on the outside was taken down there by Scream. Now pushing up. Adrid pushes through the smoke, picks up one. It's going to be down to a three on three now. Heading galore as Shoxy gets locked down to nine HP. Uh, Bomb's going to get planted over there by the Tetris area on the other side now for Mini. And so that's going to be left up to AZK. And there's going to be MBK. Just dropping acronyms everywhere as Shoxy will finish things off. Five to three right now in favor of Titan. And right now, Titan are looking extremely strong here against I by Power. Yeah, I'm curious to see if I by Power adjust how they play CT side after what we've seen so far. Uh, they will be able to buy this round. Of course, we see M4s uh, across the board, but an op on Skadoodle, actually, which him and Adrian have been kind of switching op duties, but usually Skadoodle is going to be the opera on this particular map for this team. So he, he's the outside player. We'll see if he can get a pick here, and we'll see uh, how else things go. Seems like uh, days will be with AZK at ramp this time. So you got the op over there towards the outside. This is just, just basic style play that we see on Nuke from the CT side. I mean, this is this even these setups even happen um, in pugs or mixes. So right now they're going to be working here towards the outside. You've got Smith still working there in ramp room instead of an AK. This time he has an off in hand. They're going to smoke off again. There is Skadoodle on the outside. They're going to be pushing up against him. Skadoodle trying to make some shots happen. It's just not going to be there. As now they're going to have to, uh, it's down to this four on four. They did, uh, did, did get a trade out of that. <clears throat> and so right now they're going to be pushing here towards the outside. And that's going to be right there. He's got AZK. Watching another trade happened here so far. Flash over the top, and AZK is stuck out in the open. They're flashing again. They've got all three players kind of watching this back side here, choosing an angle where they want to be, picking off one by one. There's MBK. He's going to be stuck over there by that T side vent. Down to this two on one. Anger just on the other side. Now he's going to go chasing after the kill, and Anger finishes that one off. Four to five. These rounds are just getting so close. Uh, even whenever I buy power picks them up, it's still just a close round. Well, I mean, that round they just overloaded outside. Skadoodle was trying to put emphasis on checking yellow because he had been noticing they've been boosting there quite a lot. And he was also smoked off. And as you saw, two terrorists pressed him in big garage while not taking him out. Uh, but it was an even trade. And I have to say, AZK and Days made a great rotation into that locker room heaven area. Got some picks. And then from there, uh, I buy power was able to win out the round. So great job there. Uh, but they need a lot more of those. Uh, Titan already has a lot of rounds for T-Side on this map, so they need to really win out, to be honest. So Angry, he's going to drop down. He's going to get over here towards the squeaky door quickly. Working. Let's go and hop over here with Skadoodle. He's just watching over on top of Yellow right now, like you had mentioned there. Smith's going to be working towards the ramp room right now, too. So they're going to spread out, but they're going to be heading over here towards the outside. Uh, Skadoodle and Anger have their work cut out for them. They're going to go ahead and continue to let them cross now. And he needs to hit that shot for his teammates. He's made the call out right now. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, there's Shoxy now and picks up the second one. And so now they know that the bomb is down over there towards the outside against Gadoodle playing so passive over here, just lurking about. He has a teammate there. Now, there's going to be a call out. There's Dave saying, hey, there's going to be one more over there. And Skadoodle picks it up, picks up his third one. Smart play there. It allows them to kind of creep by. He doesn't make the shot. And so there you have it. Five to five right now. As we're all tied up here on Nuke. Yeah, that was that was weird. I don't know if Titan just assumed that Big Garage was clear since one of their players was exposed for so long and, and nothing happened. Uh, but either way, Skadoodle is really patient with that first shot, waiting to see if anybody else comes out. And it does, in fact, happen. So two quick frags gets a third one there in the end as well. Uh, so Skadoodle definitely uh, doing a great job. And he's actually now going ramp. So I like how Ibi Power is being dynamic with their CT setup. They're changing things up. They've moved the rifle of AZK away for now and allowing Skadoodle to kind of play lower with the op. AZK just tapping away right now. He did cause some damage. Dazed was able to pick up one. They have made their way down through Secret. They're going to go and drop down. That's already Anger down there. Two flashes out. One's already crossed. Still working down here. 
And it's still just Ang. Oh, actually, they do have two players that are over there towards the ramp room area. Bomb is going to get planted down in lower. Smokes are out there. And ABK has been spotted. Now it's going to be down to this three on five, pushing inside of the site, one over there towards window. As we take a look, Shoxy creeping. Existence right there. As he's just kind of checking his spots. He needs to take down the bomb uh, the bomb diffuser. And uh, that's going to do it as Existence is just running away with this one. And uh, Shoxy, he was taking his time. He wasn't spotted until that very last moment. So six to five right now. Let's go ahead and listen in to I Buy Power for just a moment. And take a look at what they can do here for this. Uh, like, just play, like, back here, okay? Like, you can spot outside and then fall back to here, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna smoke it like you're there, Scott. Flashing under. I'm still up there. Well, I have to say, the communication sounds good over there. Uh, good to see that they're just staying calm and then uh, and making good calls and just uh, trying to use this momentum. They've won the last three rounds in a row. Uh, so that, that's definitely a, a turnaround of things here so far. So hopefully they can keep it up. So you see what they're doing there. They're setting themselves up. Now just Skadoodle will fall. That ramp room is now open. AZK playing a really interesting spot too. He's over there inside of spawn waiting uh, for them to push up and get a flank here. Dazed is up top. Anger's already dropped down below. Dazed able to pick up one. He's completely blind, just trying to stay alive a little bit longer. Anger gonna go ahead and push up. Nice shot there, able to pick up one. Adrin up top trying to hold his ground. He's got 40 seconds left here in the round. He kind of even things back up there. There comes Shoxy, and Shoxy going to get taken down. Pew, pew with, from Adrin. And now the score is going to be 7-5 here for I Buy Power. Just what a great upper hole. That's all I can really say. Adrin's playing above hut the whole time. Also, that spot we like to call Mustang from Counter-Strike Source. Just right there above the hut area. And uh, he was able to just do a great job, stay alive. I think he got three frags that round. Anger also coming up with a good one from uh, opposite against the squeaky door push. So just a good double hold there from uh, Adrenaline and Anger. Between them, they got four of the frags. So there's a solid hold. It's going to be an ego now for Titan. A couple of eagles, though, so a partial investment. All right, so they've fired off there from Squeaky to make sure that they don't push through. Of course, this would be that save round that they were looking for. And so they kind of deterred that for a moment, allowing them to get into position there. Making, they're just ensuring the fact that they can't quickly rush there through that squeaky door. Shoxy working the outside. He's low on L. Let's go and hop on board with MC. Who's kind of in that area. Scream actually trades there with AZK. So now they're going to be working around here. They've got one player. That's going to be Scream who's over there inside the ramp room. He has an AK in hand. Boosting up on top. This is just going to try to clear this area out, but Skadoodle's already checking this area. And he spots, there you go. Now he knows for a fact there is one. So Skadoodle's going to continue to move over here. Missing a shot. He has his teammate there. And he'd rather take some uh, damage there from the fall. And he takes out Scream. And now it's left up to existence. 25 seconds left here in the round. He's going to get... Uh, have to fall away there after that nade comes over the top. They know where the bomb is at, so. They're going to go ahead and hold that one down, so existence falls. Eight to five right now. And so far, see how well their comms are doing right now for I Buy Power. Right. They just walk up. Yeah, I wanted, to make, sure, so like, I wanted to make sure Scott was having help because, like, he was getting pushed. Yeah. Buy Molotovs, guys. You can hear that call by Molotovs, and that's what they, they this team loves the Molotovs, especially uh, for those those uh, counters to quick upper pushes and stuff like that. They've won the last five rounds in a row. They, Like I said, they needed to win out, and so far they're on track to do that. But this is a buy round for Titan. They have full nade sets across the board, so this is going to be a dangerous gun round that uh, Power needs to win. So they smoked off Skadoodle here for a moment as they're going to all five head over here towards the outside. Take a look there. You can see that they're rushing down there through the secret area. So you should expect Anger to be on a quick rotate, but he's nowhere near to go ahead and rotate and help out his teammates. Nope, not a single player has started to rotate until just now. And that Molly's going to force them out. He's going to push back out. He's actually in a really good spot to hold this area. The bomb is going to get planted there. And uh, now he's able to take down one. Picks off the second one. Nice control there with the AK. 
Spotted to his teammate. Now it's going to be down to this uh, three on four. Pushing in. Shoxy able to pick up three huge kills with the AK. Here comes Adren. Now it's going to be down to this one on three. Adren now down to this one on two. He's got uh, one player low on health. And he pushes up. Jump shooting there with the M4. Wrapping back around. And he pushes out. Adren picking up those two quick kills wow. and make it three in the round. So Shoxi made it interesting, but Adrin answers back, and so now the score is going to be 9-5. to five. And Titan, they looked like they were going to kind of put this one into a really interesting style, really put the pressure on I by power, but they have won numerous rounds, make that six rounds in a row now here in, uh, when going into favor for I by power. That was a roller coaster right after round. You just saw Titan just straight up five-man secret. They had Molotovs to try to force certain uh, movements from the retake. And in the end, I mean, like, Ally Power was looking really strong, but then all of a sudden they just got quickly four players dropped. The Drennan a one versus three, but he pulls it off. Uh, it was just an amazing clutch there from Eric. There's not much more you can say about it than that. So great play, Ally by Power. Like you said, six rounds in a row. Last round of the half. If they can win this and take Pistol's second half, maybe. You know, they're looking good, but uh, still got to worry about Titan. They still have full guns and stuff like that, so they're still a, a huge threat. As they're going to be wrapping around it, and uh, right now you've got Dazed who's going to be right there trying to be able to help out Skadoodle right now. But Skadoodle's in a really tough spot. They know exactly where he's at. They didn't, weren't able to take them down. That's actually over there towards the ramp room. AZK has uh, actually caused a lot of damage, but really it's still going on the outside. Shoxy was chasing AZK there on the inside. That's Anger who actually pushed through lobby to be able to take down one. Switching back over here. This is Shoxy pushing towards ramp room. They just tried to attack and spread out and take out as much as possible. But in the end, I buy power winning seven rounds in a row at the very end of that first half and so they take a very good uh finish to the first half 10 to 5. yeah absolutely i mean it was looking uh pretty tough there for by power you know they had a great first set um winning season again uh, against titan like they did yesterday and then uh just having an impressive run on beat us too um and so we come here and uh you know nuke was a map i believe that they lost to titan on earlier um and so being able to, to play a little bit better, or especially a lot better right now, is definitely a movement in the right direction. I know they really wanted to win cash. I was talking to Tyler, like, if we can win cash, I think we can at least get one of these next two maps, either Nuke or Inferno. Unfortunately, they didn't get cash, and I need both of them. Uh, luckily, they do get CT side first on both maps, so that was kind of good. Uh, but but there's there's still Titan a threat. I mean, five rounds from T side Nuke, and in the position that Titan is in, they're, they're still probably feeling very comfortable. Yeah, it's I, what, what the point was is that we were going down the road where Titan was playing so well and getting some really great rounds, but then I by Power found a way. They got into their own groove, started hitting some really good shots. Uh, shout out to Edge Ren who's playing lights out here at this tournament so far. Yeah, Todd also has stepped up this set in a huge fashion that we've seen in the past few maps as well. And so far, see if they can continue with the trend how well they've been playing during pistol rounds. Smith spotted a, uh, that was anger, in existence actually caught him out in the open there. Switch back over here. They're going to be pushing in, collapsing down there onto Smith. It's going to be going straight here towards the upper bomb site. They're going to start to push here towards that area. Here comes some flashbangs. They're going to go ahead and rotate quickly. It's going to be three players coming out quickly up towards that upper side. Come on, it's going to be dropping in there. AZK trying to tap away. It's going to be left up to two players here. Adren and AZK. Adren inside of the hut right now. Still coming back around. Shox is going to go straight for the diffuser. Coming back around. Takes down the bomb diffuser. And he's going to be able to come back and pick up the kit. They pick up the round. And so now the score is going to be 10 to 6 in favor of I by Power. But Titan taking the pistol round. Yeah, that was tough. I mean, it was a not a half bad execution by I by Power to get the bomb, uh, to get how they were situated. Uh, using, using an outside and, and lobby split there, but the retake from Titan was just too strong. That was good. Yeah, I mean, AZK made a decent play to get the diffuser, but unfortunately there was still so much time left on the bomb that it didn't really matter. They were able to re-pick up that kit and get the diffuse anyway. So I like the thought process there. It's just the execution post-plant just wasn't quite there for by power there. What I liked about what Titan did is they opened the floodgates. Existence was on the ladder. He was ready to kind of push up quickly. They had two players that were up on top of heaven at that time just waiting and so they basically they waited existence through the pop flash and they flooded the gates and then they, they pushed into the site they were able to get there uh, but right now uh anger able to start things off taking down scream 
And so we'll kind of spread in here, look here, uh, see where all these players are playing at the moment. Maybe heading over here towards the ramp room. Oh, oh just a one tank. Just takes one bullet there from MBK. MBK has been playing well. This, this is the reason why these two teams are in the in the finals right now. And yesterday he looked a bit quiet, but today he's uh, he's been he had some tight. he had some good games while I was watching. And so right now MBK is still just watching. Anger just kind of going back and forth with him there. As we're gonna go ahead and start to be able to push in here side to side. AZK, he's gonna fall there too. Shoxy and uh, Smiths were up there, and Existence getting that final kill. So ten to seven, holding down that upper bomb site. Yeah, they, it, it, we're, we're seeing them, of course, buy up AKs though, thanks to that first round plant. So it's kind of a similar situation to last half. We'll see if I buy power can push it to eleven to seven, or if uh, Titan can hold and force an eco out of I buy power to begin that comeback process. Seven to ten. Here on DE Nuke, map number two, where Titan were able to take the first map in this second best of three here. Smith's under a lot of gunfire. He's going to get taken down by a Dren. And so they're going to be heading over there towards the outside. So right now you can hear the call outs. I mean, they're, they're really making sure that they know exactly where I buy power are. They're rotating pretty quickly here. Working towards the outside, AZK was able to wrap down around. Let's go ahead and see if we can hop on board with Skadoodles. Skadoodles pushed all the way up there. Day is going to fall. We now down to this four on four. Existence right there. He's going to get taken down. Now it's going to be down to a three on four. Lots of time left. 55 seconds here. And so right now, you actually have MBK who's already down here. And he gets headshotted. No one made the call saying that... Uh, they could have already made their way down here, and now it's going to be left up to Shoxy now, the last man standing here for Titan. Down to a one-on-four here. 30 seconds. Will Bomb will be planted down in the lower bomb site. AZK just on the other side. He's just trying to get at least one kill. He's trying to make it two, but he will get dropped there. 7-Eleven. Go get yourself a big gulp as uh, we're here as I buy power is trying to work the way back now. Uh, Me? I can't. I, can, I, can, I, can. I don't know. I have a Galil and a Fox. I'll drop. I'll drop. I'll drop. Fucking go, I guys. Keep scrim shining. Let's fucking go, boys. Fearless, guys. We gotta be more fearless at outer. Yeah. Look yeah. at these fucking locker rooms and shit. And I was saying they're definitely pumped up here uh, after getting that round. That was a big one. So they definitely want to keep it going. That's for sure. Great outside control there from my by power to take that one. Uh, Shoxy, uh, they're on the inside of the rafters. Pass the bomb off there. They're going to go ahead and try to execute this uh, strategy where they can get boosted up there on top. Working the line, checking his angles, making sure he's got a good flight pattern there. Clouds were nice. Wind was right there behind his the sails there, so he's good. No birds getting in his jet engine. Yep, that's probably a good thing there. So you know he's able to wrap back around there. No type of distraction there. Actually, actually, Scream is right there. And so he just moves over the top there, pushes in, able to take down one. Nice job by Skadoodle, finishing things off. But his teammates aren't able to execute as well. Skadoodle's been able to pick up three. And so now the bomb has actually fallen on the outside. And here comes Skadoodle's made it four kills in this round. And Anger said, I want a piece. He is just playing lights out right now. <laughs> Skadoodle, I think this is probably one of his best lands he's had in CSGO. I mean, he's had some good events, but I've just noticed, like, today and yesterday, even yesterday when his team was struggling, he was still playing really strong. And today, like, making a play like that, he pretty much single-handedly won that round for Ally Power. He got those initial picks. Even though his teammates kind of crumbled after those initial picks, he still wants up saving the day with a couple more frags. So just playing amazing right now for his team. That was a great idea to boost him up there. He was uncontested the whole time. And so now they're going to try to uh, make something happen on the outside, switching back over AZK. He's going to lose his AK. And now Anger pushing up. He's able to pick up two kills now. Switching back over here towards the outside. Skadoodle, oh, he tried to toss his AK up there uh, to his teammate. Actually, he's trying to toss it up there so he, they can't have can't that weapon. It. So that's right. why he tossed it over the fence that time. Smart play there. 
So even if they decide to go chasing after that AK, it won't be there anymore. And so now they're just going to go ahead and work their way back in here now. Well, what would that do to your head if you, like, walked by and just saw that AK on the other side of the fence? Bah, it's a safe, smart play. Yeah. It looks like this, this round should go to by power, making it 13 to 7. So definitely starting to pick it up here with some key plays from some of their players, uh, especially on this outside control. Wow, this actually works out for here. He's just going to go ahead and swing in there, picks up a weapon here. Now what was a one-on-three is now going to be down to a one-on-two. Look out for Scream. And oh, he just barely had the chance. And Skadoodle ends it there. That just can't happen. As uh, I buy power, they pick up the round and Scream making it an effort there at the end. So uh, now it's 13 to 7. You mentioned, hey, you know, they needed to go for that shock and all. They needed to make an impact and really make a name for themselves on Nuke. And that's, hey, they're doing it right now at this point. Someone needs to buy Skylar around after this set's over because he is he literally saved his team right there. I mean, that should have been an easy three versus one for I by Power. Unfortunately, they didn't kind of check things. They just went straight for the plant and uh, almost turned into a huge clutch for Scream, which would have certainly been a, a, a morale booster for them in this situation. And Smith's already opening up a pick there on yellow. They're noticing that I-Buy Power is using that a lot. They already tried eco-pressing outside when they were saving, and right there their opera's paying attention to it. So I-Buy Power needs to realize that. So right now, as we look at it, Shock's going to be playing close here up on top of the hut. Scream going to be right there with them. Smith's actually moved from the outside, watching Yellow all the way back over here towards Ramp Room. And let's go back over here towards the inside. They're going to be working here. Adrin able to pick it, take down one. The bomb carrier is falling. As, uh, let's go and switch over here to Adrin. He's going to fall. Now it's going to be left up to Anger. Down to this one on two. 45 seconds left here in the round. A lot of time. Uh, but they have spotted the bomb. They know exactly where it's at. And uh, I believe... So Existence, he smokes up this area here, forcing him to kind of come out there. And he comes over the top and picking up the kill. Smart move there. And because what Existence was trying to do, even if uh, if Anger was inside of the hut, that would have forced him. There's not a lot of time. That would have forced him out of the hut window. Just smart play there by Existence. And uh, so now it's going to be 8 to 13. A five-round lead. Three rounds away here for I Buy Power to push it into a third and final map of the tournament. It'd be the last one. And it put us onto a traditional championship map, being the Inferno. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I by Power was in a similar position last map where they seemed to have tightened up against the Rose, but they couldn't seem to close. Um, in this situation, they're going to have to eco this round. That means probably 13-9. Uh, Titan maybe starting to come back of their own. So, uh, Power needs to be careful. I mean, they're in a good position, but they need to keep it. Existence able to pick up one. Now MBK going to town. Now he's just going for the jumping mag. And uh, Smith will be able to finish off that one. They all were able to collapse over there towards the ramp room. 13 to 9 now. MBK loves that Max 7. Saw him using it yesterday on DDoS 2 on Elevator, just jumping and picking uh -huh. cat players. And he actually got a kill and doing a lot of damage on two other players that way. So uh, definitely I don't see it a whole, whole lot, but it definitely can be pretty dangerous. You know, there's always that debate uh, about the Mag 7 and also the Auto Snipes, the CT Scar. Um, you know, honestly, I think they're right. I, I, in terms of the right value, I think they cost the right amount. It's If you get to that point, you've earned it. Um, the Mag 7, I think it's it's effective at times, but not all the time. So there's just a lot of different things that, that come into play. And I really think it is balanced at the point that it is right now. Yeah, I know the Auto Sniper's been big talk lately uh, from a lot of different players on how they feel about it. Definitely they like using it. It's very powerful. Yeah, but there's so many times where I see people, players, one-shotting with the AK. You shouldn't be able to one-shot with the AK, but, I mean, come on. <laughs> it's that same type of thing. That costs 2700 but right now, 13 to 9 on a very uh, important gun round here. Shoxy trying to get the bloom there. Um, see if that, uh, how that works there. See if it does smoke up in that area. And it is still clipping a little bit, but not enough to really make a difference, I don't believe. No. Nah. No, so. That was one of the complaints that kind of happened on Nuke before. And this time they're going to molly through. And I believe they may have smoked it back. And so uh, it, it 
extinguish that flame. They're going to go ahead and push over the top there. Anger going to get dropped there. Day is low on health. He's going to get taken down. Now it's going to be down to a two-on-two. -two. MBK going to be coming over here towards that terrorist side. Vent Scoodoodle just on the other side. He sees the tip of the AWP pushing through. He's missing that off shot. And here comes Adren. Now down to a one-on-one, -on -one, checking his angles. He's going to be on the other side. And uh, there you go. Existence taking the round 13-10. to 10. And Titan trying to come back to win this one and be crowned your champs here for the ESEA Season 15 Land Finals. Yeah, by power, what they attempted to do there is a strat that Adrian actually liked to run on his old team where you smoke the doorway right outside HUT and you use pop flashes coming out the window and through the smoke to actually execute out Squeaky Door and HUT at the same time. The trades just kind of went crazy there. It winds up being a one versus two that I power couldn't win. They're forced to eco again. So a good opportunity here for Titan uh, to bring it to a 13 to 11 type situation. Off shot by Smith, just barely missing over the top. They will get down there through the secret area. Let's go ahead and see which players that we can find that are actually down there. That's going to be MBK, who's already rotated down there towards lower. Going to be pushing in. He's going to get taken down. Scream's going to get one as well. That was into anger. AZK watching there through the vent. Shock's going to be right there. Headshot there by AZK. He's going to fall back around, just kind of trading kills back and forth. Now it's going to be left up to Adrin. Adrin, he picks up himself up at M4. He's going to get dropped. 13 to 11. Now in favor of I by Power. But uh, Titan starting to gain momentum here on that CC side. Yeah, they're showing why they're one of the best teams in the world right now. Even after dropping a set they didn't expect to drop. Uh, you know, they're able to shake that off and come back here and play really well. I also want to point out that I by Power is definitely struggling a little bit here in the key half as we see Days, who actually is statistically their best player at this event, uh, has yet to be able to get a frag in the second half. And they really rely on him for his entries and his picks, so uh, that, that's definitely hurting their strategies a little bit. Let's see where he's at, what uh, type of movement he's having to do here. Just kind of get an idea of why he's sitting at 0 and 9 right now. Back over here to the other side, MBK watching over here towards Ramp Room. You've got this, uh, actually this crossfire for both of these players that are watching there. And uh, let's go ahead and continue to look or lurk around here. Existence over there, he's grouped up with Smiths. A lot of team shooting there uh, in that CT setup. And somebody will be working around here in just a moment. Adren over the top. Uh, he has been spotted. He's going to go ahead and fall back. Not a lot of damage has been caused so far. 40 seconds left here in the round. This is the first time that we've actually seen a round kind of take a little bit longer. Scream immediately goes over there to Toxic. And he's going to be ready to play with this door for a little while. We'll call him the doorman for a little bit, but we'll go ahead and find some real action now. NBK on the other side now. 20 seconds. Now, this is going to be a crucial moment here for Scream. And there's going to be Existence going to be on the flank right now. As MBK is going to go to town here, they're going to be wrapping back around. Scream is not going to open that door until he really needs to. He actually has. He's going to go ahead and push out. He, he saw the bomb carry to try to be able to take him down. That's going to be left up to Existence. Going to be down to this one-on-two. The whole purpose of why Scream was there. And he doesn't capitalize there on the end. Down to this one-on-two. It's not over yet. This time they change roles there. And that's going to put Daze in the door there. He's going to be coming back around. And look, and Daze actually peeks out there. And now it's going to be down to this one-on-one. -on -one. And he's trying to draw in some type of it. It's just not going to happen. He's going to give it up. It's a smart play. He understands this whole situation there. And he's going to go ahead and save if he can. He will be able to save that, uh, that M4 at the end. And Anger actually was able to pick up the op for Skadoodle. Oh man, Scream, just in there in Toxic, his whole purpose, the reason why he was yep. there, and he chases after, he. I think he saw the bomb planter, it may have been, I mean, got a, I, I think he didn't, because he, he was spamming through the smoke, I think he thought that the planter was more outside of the silo, whereas the bomb was planted right up against the sign, so I think he was actually trying to span through the smoke to catch the planter and ran out of bullets before he could see him, and so he had to reload as he was coming around the silo and got caught. Uh, so that's just unfortunate for him. He, he just tried to guess through the smoke, and then as he's reloading, he sees the guy, and it's already too late. He doesn't have any more bullets. But still just good outer control from I by Power to get secret with three of their players, already get control of at least that control hallway, and then come through ramp as well to, to pinch it off. So just a good play by I by Power. They need some more of those, though. 
Smith's got the auto snipe now. Doing whatever he can now. He decides, hey, I'm just going to start tapping through. And actually, there's oh. AZK trying to hide behind the box. And uh, so he gets taken out of the, uh, the picture here in this round. It's a valid point. The only reason why I emphasize so much on that for Scream, if he would have gotten that kill, they would have won the round. There's no question. They wouldn't have been able to get the bomb planted. There was not enough time. And uh, so there you go. You have it uh, just at the very end. Well, here we are. We'll soak on it too long here. They're going to start working their way over there towards the ramp room. Getting down towards lower. Now it's MBK's turn. Yeah. We'll stay on board here with MBK. And so he peeks out at the later part and basically oh. says, Here I am. And Adren, he's got his teammate Anger to be able to cover that area. Oh, look out! As uh, Skadoodle's right there to help out. A lot of cover fire here uh, for I Buy Power. Down to a two on three. I'm going to unbind Mouse Wheel after this game. <laughs> so down to this two on three. Smiths and Shoxy. Shoxy going to try to be able to push out. Able to take down one. Now it's going to be down to a two on two. Anger inside. Going to be watching over there in toxic area. It's gonna, oh, oh. Smiths! As he tried, he tried to be able to pick up that kill there, and uh, he's going to fall, and Shoxi will die as well here. They're just going to bout it out there at the very end. 15 to 11. Game point coming in here for I buy Power. And this may push us into a final map, but we've been here before. I buy Power. Just trying to get one final round, and this will be the time to do it. As you can see, three P250s there for Titan. Yeah, they went for it all right there. Uh, just another good lower execution by I by Power. They're doing great with those. Um, I was surprised MBK actually decided to peak Toxic so early. The, 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 the thing that I, I, I buy Power is a lot of these strategies, they don't begin attempting to plant the bomb until about when there's only 15 seconds left on the clock. So sometimes they actually struggle. Uh, if, if they happen not to check the correct thing, getting that bomb down actually hurts them a lot. You were mentioning Scream could end that round if he just would have gotten that kill. So that is one risk that I buy power takes, but they're so meticulous and careful about how they play too. It allows them to get a lot of information and control. Anger just spraying through. Just everything here is completely default at this point. Scream going to go ahead and fall back, regroup with his teammates. MBK existence are all three over here towards that ramp room. They're going to get ready. They're prepared. They're going to try to hold this area down. Smith is actually on a quick rotate, too. He's right there inside of heaven. So if they need all four players, they're going to be there. Bomb is still out there in lobby. AZK spotted Shoxy. Dropped him down to 20 HP. 34 seconds left here in the round. ABK is going to go ahead and fall. And they're going to go ahead and wrap back around here. They're going towards the upper side. Let's go ahead and hop on board here. It's going to be inside the site. You've got Smiths and Shoxy. Shoxy right there around the corner. Able to take down one. Skadoodle pushing in. He still has 20 HP. Staying alive. 18 seconds left here in the round. Left up to existence. Down to this one on three. There goes Anger. He's going to fall. 12 seconds left here in the round. Bomb has not been planted yet. Still taking his time. Hasn't planted it here in the inside of the site. Adrian gets taken down. It's going to be down to this one on one. Existence trying to be able to push through. Oh, no. And he's a, oh, he might be able to, oh, no. Oh, my goodness. So, Skadoodle taking down Existence. We could have pushed this game even further. And a huge shout out there to Existence making his best effort there. But we are going into a third and final map. It comes down to this. We played a lot of counter forces throughout this entire weekend. And this is what it comes down to. One and final map. We're going to be on Inferno. We're here in Dallas, Texas, and we'll be back here in just a moment. I'm Corey Dunn, joined here by Dust or Dustin Dust Moret, and we'll be back after the break. Who it's going to be a good one. <laughs>